Bro, how are they gonna act about this blush, bro? I know Japanese Twitter is going crazy over this. Logo review. Today we're checking out episode six of the Elusive Samurai. But first, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can help us reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're like not even 8,000 away. We're so close. You can literally make it happen, okay? If you're already subscribed, I appreciate it. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you'll find other links in the description. If you like non-anime reactions, K-dramas, check out my second channel. If you like watching along live on Twitch, then check out my Twitch channel, all right? You can be like the people in chat that aren't really yapping yet. They'll be there. But you can be like those people. Hang out with us on Saturday when we literally watch this anime. We watch uh, Make Ine. We watch Plus Size Delf. Okay, we watch all of those on Saturday. I watch My Hero Before stream because it comes out really early in the morning. But I also stream on Sundays. I stream on Mondays. I stream on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. I'm probably going to cut one of those days because I stream too much. But maybe stop by one of the streams and hang out with us. And this intro is too long, so let's watch the show. <laughs> Dude, the way that they do the whole, like, face thing is very, like, you know, I like that there's, like, facial movement and stuff with the mask. Oh, he's ready, bro. He He's tying on the fucking bandana like he's Zoro. Damn. Damn, they just leapt out. They blew a hole in it. Oh shit! Oh, you like a flash bang? Well, without the bang, just a flash. What is this? Oh, that's crazy! That was beautiful animation. Everybody wanted to come after this fucking show because they used a little bit of CG. And then they do this. Look how amazing this shit is, bro. That's crazy. Bro, is that also CG? I... Oh, I didn't even notice initially. Damn. Um, bro, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is probably some of the better CG we, we see in all of anime. I, I literally didn't even notice. They're still here. Bro, that is fucking awesome. Beautiful transition. Wow. Oh, shit. Bro, creepy. Oh, my God. The transitions are fucking beautiful right now. What is he doing? Oh, that's crazy. In hide and seek, you'll absolutely be caught if you move from such a close distance. Bro, what? In the Jujutsu Kaisen? Oh! Oh, fuck! He got him, though! Oh! Our boy! Tokiyuki got caught! Damn! He defended you, and he's a fucking prince! You kidding me, bro? He loves this shit, bro. He about to play hide and seek. He's, it's a game of tag. He loves this shit. We're probably going to cut to his face, blushing like crazy, and then Japanese Twitter is going to go crazy because they think that he wants to fuck the guy. But it's not like that. He just... It's the thrill of the hunt. Oh, I guess he's not blushing like crazy. Okay. This is so interestingly animated. Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to know who the director for this is. There's no way the manga panels are all like this. Are they? I don't know. But animation director is uh, Ito Yuki, who's done a lot of animation for a lot of shit all over the place. Uh, Yamazaki Yuta is the 
director of this. This might be the first thing that they've directed. This is sick. Wow, honorable, never betraying people's trust. This motherfucker's out here again, big bug eyes. Oh. <laughs> what in the golden convoy is going on right now? This, this is some golden convoy ass shit, bro. Ain't no way this guy is not, the person that created this is not influenced by him. Ain't no way, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, y'all about to fuck right now. Damn. God, his elusivity is so fucking sick. Oh my God. That fucking arrow's coming. He just dodges that shit. That's crazy. God. Tokiyuki's so cool. Damn, that was a strong ass arrow. Looks so good. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I kind of like it, though. I kind of like it. The weird, like, the sound is, the ears are speaking, the eyes, like, it's such a, like, a, a that's their trait. Uh-oh. <laughs> this guy's so fucking weird, dude. He's, he's just wrapped around him, bro. That shit is wild. <laughs> Just the way he's fucking holding him, dude. Oh my god, this is... I don't know. I see this and all I can think of is just Golden Kamoy. Am I crazy for thinking that? Is anybody else getting that, that vibe? <laughs> oh, smart. Yo, what the fuck? But you don't have weapons? Take an arrow out of his quiver, and then the next time you jump by, yam right into his fucking ear or his eye. If Tokiyuki was there, there would be heads rolling. That wasn't him. Got your ass. Oh my fucking God, dude. This show is so... It's so well animated. It is so crazy. Oh. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, wait, this is the time period when we stopped being so, like, uh, where, where Japan was very, like, Bushido, honor, fighting, fighting with the sword, confronting your opponent, prepared to die, and, and, and changing to more of this, like, ninja type of way right where you can sneak attack is that what they're saying here in the subtitles that looks like what that's what they're saying dude his eyes already about to pop out of his head that extra that is so much more i just want to i just want to listen to the narrator again so the word shinobi appears in one of the oldest epics of japan the taiheiki which records the events of this time okay the taiheiki Bro, I need to. I might need to read the Taiheiki, bro. 
You think I know enough Japanese to... No, I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I would never be able to. Bold and forthright with... Yeah, dude. Those who can infiltrate like spies with subversive tactics began to be prized. This is when we switched from samurai to ninja. I mean, samurai still hold their, their place, right? They're still valued as part of the army, part of whatever, you know. But this is when ninjas started to become valued as well. Bro, the animation's so good. Oh. Yep, pop the string on your bow. Yeah. Holy shit. Bro, this episode was fire! Pun intended, because the burning of the documents and shit. Bro, how are they going to act about this blush, bro? I know Japanese Twitter is going crazy over this. Every time somebody blush, blushes, it doesn't mean they're trying to have sex. Calm down. He's just so excited. Bro, he just wants to play games. Have fun. I love it, dude. Damn, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Good. Fuck this guy, dude. I don't like him. Damn, wrecked. Why? Why can they no longer take the Suwa land? Oh. Oh. Awesome, dude. Good, man. You'd love to see it. Damn, bro. Getting drunk. Nope. That probably would not work. Yeah, I, I can't see that, dude. He is... Takauji's crazy. Not... Sorry. He's not crazy, like, mentally crazy. I mean, like, I believe he's probably at a level of strength that is unimaginable he is going to be the largest and most difficult to defeat opposition <laughs> he gonna stop all of those emperor godaigo's son prince moriyoshi is this tokiyuki's brother no the main japan emperor no the emperor that he was betrayed for okay so he's the son of the new emperor. I don't know if just talking is going to accomplish. He's going to drop his sword, right? What's he going to Holy shit! <laughs> Bro, he might actually be a fucking demon. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, okay. First of all, first of all, he's not even like actually cutting off their fucking heads. It looks like he has like, um, um... Damn Call of Duty zombies insta-kill on. That's what it looks like. It looks like he's tapping them and their heads pop. Insta-kill. Pack a punch that sword, bro. <laughs> Dude. And he's just... What the fuck? Dude, he's literally just slicing everyone's... As he's just dancing around, just cutting off everyone's head and avoiding cutting off his head. Oh, 
Oh my god, guys, just the fucking background's wild. The background is literally just body he just Hands, ears, a nose. I I think that's another ear there. There's random teeth, pieces of hair, a tongue, teeth, nose. Jesus Christ. A foot? Takaoji, he's literally not there anymore. It looks like he just slayed all of these people. Oh. Oh my god, never mind. I thought Takaoji was gonna set him up to make him like a fall guy for all of these dead people. This motherfucker is Homelander. He is Homelander. He just killed all of these people and nobody's batting an eye at it. They're like, oh my god, it's Homelander. It's Takaoji. And look at the bottom of everyone's robes. They're just walking over the dead bodies. All of their robes at the bottom are painted with blood. Holy shit. Bro, once again, just the visuals are absolutely fucking insane. I don't know how anyone can see this as not being, at the very bare minimum, a top three anime this season. At the bare minimum. The art direction, the animation, the story, just the attention to detail of all of these things is just crazy. And there's comedy and there's action and Takaoji's bare cheeks are here too. You're telling me we're not going to say this is the best thing? Look at this man's rock hard stone buttocks. It's like he's brainwashed all of the people within this, in, in all of the people of Japan. They practically worship this man. Oh, it feels unwinnable. Bro, he might actually genuinely have a fucking demon in him. If we end up getting to a point where this is like a fantasy thing and Takaoji is literally being controlled by an Oni, I would not be surprised. Uh, whoa! Hey, yo! What the oh, fuck is this? Put that thing away! And that is one thing that they do a good job of with this show. They do add the levity after a very insanely graphic, gory, intense, thriller moment. They then slap us with some comedy. <laughs> he just kicked the shit out of him, dude. Uh. What the fuck? The lion doesn't know yet that a day will come where he will fear the small rabbit. That's weird. I, I know that, like, nudity is supposed to be, like, funny. It's like, there's, there's part of comedy or part of things that are seen as comedic or funny in Japan is nudity, right? It's why we have things like in um, Zom 100. I forgot his name, but the, the, the comedian friend in Zom 100, he just gets naked because that's funny. And so I think that that's all this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be funny. I'm not throwing any shade at anything that happened in this episode. This episode was absolutely incredible, dude. Episode's director and storyboarder was Yuko or Yoko Kikuchi. Yoko Kikuchi. All right, let's look this up, dude. I got to see what this person's worked on because Giyad. This is, this might have been the best art direction since episode one. Worked on Kuroko no Basket. Did key animation for Yu Yu Hakusho, Gintama, Kimi ni Todoke. A lot of older stuff. Key animation for the first ED of, of Golden Kamoi. Animation director for episode five 
of season two of Oshinoko. That person, she needs to do more, like, directing in general. I want to know what you all thought about this episode down in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, don't just leave a comment. Also, like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace. <laughs>